The journey of sperm to fertilization is a remarkable story of life's beginnings. It's a complex process involving millions of tiny cells, each with a crucial role. Understanding this journey can be helpful for anyone curious about human reproduction. It can also be particularly insightful for couples trying to conceive. This journey begins with ejaculation, where millions of sperm are released. Imagine a massive crowd of swimmers all racing towards a single finish line. That's the kind of competition we're talking about. But this is no ordinary race. These sperm are up against a ticking clock in a challenging environment. The journey is not for the faint of heart. Many sperm don't survive the acidic environment of the vagina. The ones that do face another hurdle, the cervix. This gateway to the uterus is usually tightly closed. However, during ovulation, the cervix opens slightly, allowing some lucky swimmers to pass through. This is just the beginning of the sperm's incredible journey. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating process. We'll explore the role of the egg, the moment of fertilization, and the development of the zygote. Once past the cervix, the sperm find themselves in the uterus. This is where the journey gets even more interesting. The uterus is a dynamic environment, and its contractions help propel the sperm towards the fallopian tubes. Think of it like navigating a river with strong currents. The sperm with their powerful tails are perfectly designed for this challenge. They swim against the current, guided by chemical signals released by the egg. It's a true test of endurance and navigation. However, only a small fraction of the initial millions of sperm even make it this far. Many succumb to the challenges along the way. But for those that do, the race is far from over. The fallopian tubes, where the egg awaits, present another set of obstacles. These tubes are delicate and lined with tiny hair-like structures called cilia. These cilia help to move the egg towards the uterus, while also acting as a filter for the sperm. It's a delicate dance of biology, with each step perfectly orchestrated to ensure the continuation of life. While the sperm are busy navigating their way through the female reproductive system, the egg is also on its own journey. Ovulation, the release of a mature egg from the ovary, is a pivotal event in the reproductive cycle. Imagine a tiny pearl-like egg being released from its protective follicle in the ovary. This egg is then gently swept into the fallopian tube, where it begins its slow journey towards the uterus. Surrounding the egg is a protective layer called the corona radiata. This layer acts as a barrier, ensuring that only the strongest and healthiest sperm can reach the egg. The egg doesn't just wait passively. It releases chemical signals that attract the sperm, guiding them towards their target. It's a remarkable example of communication at the cellular level. The stage is set for the ultimate encounter, the moment of fertilization. Section 4, the moment of truth, fertilization. Out of millions of sperm, only a few hundred reach the egg, and only one will fertilize it. This is where the real magic happens. The sperm encounters the egg's outer layers, the corona radiata and the zona pellucida. These layers ensure only the strongest sperm can pass through. The sperm releases enzymes to break down these layers, a process known as the acrosome reaction. Once a sperm penetrates, a chain of events is triggered. The egg releases chemicals to prevent other sperm from entering. The nuclei fuse, creating a zygote, marking the beginning of a new life. Section 5, A New Beginning, The Zygote The formation of the zygote is a momentous occasion. This single cell, the result of the fusion of sperm and egg, contains all the genetic information needed to develop into a human being. It's the very beginning of a new life. Imagine this tiny zygote, barely visible to the naked eye, embarking on a journey of rapid growth and development. The zygote doesn't waste any time. It begins dividing rapidly, a process called mitosis. This process of cell division is the foundation for the development of all the cells, tissues, and organs in the human body. As the zygote divides, it continues its journey down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. Along the way, it transforms into a ball of cells called a blastocyst. 
The blastocyst is a more complex structure than the zygote, with different types of cells that will eventually give rise to the embryo and the placenta. The journey from zygote to blastocyst is a testament to the incredible power of cell division and differentiation. It's a process that highlights the remarkable elegance and efficiency of human development. Section 6, Making a Home Implantation The final stage of this incredible journey is implantation. This is where the blastocyst attaches to the lining of the uterus. This marks the beginning of pregnancy. Imagine the blastocyst, like a tiny seed finding fertile ground in the uterus. The uterine lining provides the ideal environment for the blastocyst to grow. The blastocyst burrows into the uterine lining, connecting to the mother's blood supply. This connection provides the developing embryo with oxygen and nutrients. Implantation is not always successful. Only about half of all fertilized eggs successfully implant. Factors like embryo health and uterine lining receptivity influence success. Successful implantation marks the beginning of embryo development and eventual birth. It's a testament to the awe-inspiring power of human reproduction.